I want to talk about the gastrointestinal symptoms because most people don't know that gastrointestinal Lyme exists even though five papers were published on this topic, including one in, the, in 2004 in Practical Gastroenterology. Some of the gastrointestinal symptoms of Lyme disease can include diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, belly pain, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, the, freq- the uh, upset stomach, nausea with or without vomiting, uh, frequent heartburn, uh, gastroesophageal reflux, anorexia, and I've even seen cases of kids having symptoms that mimicked Crohn's disease, mimicked celiac, mimicked ulcerative colitis in patients who had the genetic predisposition for those diseases. You have GI symptoms and you may not have a history of arthritis or bullseye rash, is that correct? Correct. You could, but you don't have to. Correct. That makes it very difficult for a lot of people to make that assessment. And because of Lyme mimicry, people who have predisposition for autoimmune diseases can present as other autoimmune diseases. The Lyme infection can make antibodies that can mimic multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome, Crohn's disease, celiac, uh, Epstein-Barr virus, a whole list of psychiatric symptoms including uh, attention deficit, mood swings, um, that should be enough.